Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to design this symbol piece in FreeCAD using these dimensions as a reference. So first we create new file, click on this icon, and here we change to part design or bench. We create board, create sketch in Xplane. And here we will create a sketch for this face. So go to sketch geometries and here select this rounded rectangle tool and draw this rectangle and now select this constraint symmetrical tool and select this point, this point and now this origin point. Okay, and now we will give dimensions to this sketch. So in this reference model we can see a radius of 16, this 40 and this 100. So we'll come back and first we select this tool and constrain the radius of this arc to 16. Now select this, uh, this vertical distance tool and change the length here to 40. And now select this horizontal distance and here we change to 100. Okay, and now close this sketch, press home. Clicking this pad tool, and here in this model we see a pad of 10. So click OK, and now select this face and create new sketch. And here go to sketch geometries and select this tool, extract this edge, this edge, and this edge. And now select this slot tool and draw these two slots. Okay, escape, and now select, select this line, this line, and this line, and make it equal, click in this constraint, and now select this arc, this arc, and this arc, and make it equal, okay, so now you can see that this sketch is full constrained, we have this full constrained message, so we close this sketch, press on, Go to pad tool. In this model, we see a pad of 14. Okay. But here we will say 4 and click OK. And now we select this face and create new sketch. And use this extra tool, extra this edge and this edge. And now do these two slots. Okay, clicking this tool again and extract this edge. So, okay, now we click escape and select this line and this line and now this edge and equal constraint. Okay. And here in this model, you can see a radius of 5 for this arc. So, we come back and select this tool. Clicking this arc and here we change to 5. Okay, and now select this arc and this arc, and now clicking this icon. Okay, so now this sketch is full constrained, so we leave this sketch close. And now select this pocket tool, and here we change to triangle and click OK. And now we will create a sketch. A new sketch for this face. So click in this icon and here create a new sketch in YZ plane. Okay, switch to section view, click in this icon, select this tool and extract this edge. Okay, and now use this pole line tool to draw this sketch. Okay, press and three times and you get this arc and now two times again three times and now three times okay now two times and clicking this icon okay 
what we have to do now is to give the means to this sketch but first we select this tangent constraint tool and select this line in this arc okay so in this reference model we can see we can see this radius 15 this dimension 15 and this radius 60 so okay we select this this ver this horizontal distance tool and here we set here we set 40 here 15 okay and now select this tool and here we change to 15 and here to 6 okay and select this vertical distance tool and here we set 15 okay and now we constrain this point to this point make it constant okay so now this sketch is full constraint so we close this sketch and now select this pet tool set symmetric to plane press on okay in this reference model we see a pad of 15 so here we change link to 15 and click ok so yes now we select this face and create new sketch and here we extract this edge select the cycle tool and draw the cycle ok so in this reference model we see we see a diameter of 30 so okay we select this tool and here we change to this dimension and now we constraint horizontal these two points and this sketch is full constrained so close the sketch and now go to model select this sketch and click on mouse and go to attachment to detail in here in z direction we say five click ok and now select the sketch select this pet tool check this reverse option and here we set the link to okay this dimension and click ok so now what you have to do is these fillets and then do this all so we select this face and here we go to fillet tool and here we check this option use all edges and click ok oh sorry delete this fillet first we do this we select this edge and go to fillet tool in this model we see uh, a fillet of 20 so here we change the radius to 20 and click in this edge button and we select this edge tool and click ok press on and now select this face and go to fillet tool and here we check this option use all edges and now click ok now select this face and go to this wall tool and here we change the diameter to 15 and here to foot and click ok so we have this model thank you for watching this video